Hey guys, for today's video, I'm gonna share with you my five top tips on how to win a home in a multiple offer situation. We're outside an open house, which just got listed. This is a classic example of something listed in that one and a half million dollar range where it's got a deadline for offers, they're getting a ton of calls, a ton of action, and we know this is gonna be a multiple offer situation. So let's go in, take a look at the property, and then we'll get a sit chance to sit down and chat about it. So right now we're in the midst of what might be one of the hottest real estate markets in history. Everyone is telling me stories how they can't get their clients' properties and the buyers are losing out in multiple offer situations. What I wanna share with you today are the tips that I have been using with my clients to win in multiple offer situations. And all these tips come down to these two main concepts that it takes to win which is knowing the price and how to come across as a closer. Tip number one is know the market. It is important to know what is sold and what will be selling, what's an escrow and what it's gonna close for. It's important to know the market and how it compares with other neighborhoods. You want to know the supply and demand of this particular market and the qualities of the other homes and the features of the other homes in the surrounding area. Knowing the market is gonna dictate the price and the momentum and the urgency that a particular listing is gonna have. Tip number two is good agent relations. It is so important that the agent writing your offer comes across as someone that the listing agent is gonna to wanna to work with. These two agents are gonna be in bed together for a 30-day transaction every single day working together, they wanna to choose an agent that is easy, professional, and a joy to work with. It is so important. They don't have to know every single agent in town, but from the first time they pick up that phone to schedule that appointment, they gotta come across as a professional and someone that the listing agent is gonna to wanna to work with. Tip number three, be on your best behavior. It's the same when you're visiting someone's home as a guest. You don't criticize their house. I coach my buyers when we're out on the lawn before we go into a showing or an open house to zip it. Save the criticism and critique of the home for once we're in escrow and we're doing inspections because then we're going to rip the house apart. But until then, you want to come across as someone who's easy, who loves the home, who's going to close. The listing agent is listening and watching for this. When they have 30 buyers to choose from, they're not gonna choose the person who's tired kicking the house. Same goes for your friends and family. Your father-in-law is gonna to wanna to come through and show you how he's gonna help you and ask the listing agent a thousand questions. That's not gonna help you get the property. You wanna come across as someone who's easy, so when you see the home, be on your best behavior. Tip number four, know what you're willing to lose the property for. In a multiple offer situation, that's the million dollar question of what price it will take to get the property when everyone's blindfolded and you don't know what the other people are willing to pay or how high someone else is gonna go. Escalation clauses, don't suggest them. It's actually not a real number that you're putting on your offer that can be signed off on. And the listing agents today aren't into escalation clauses and they're not an acceptable offer. Instead, focus on what you are happy to lose the property for. If it were to sell for $1,000 more than what you offer, you're fine. In this instance, you are going to your absolute max and that's what it takes 
to win in multiple offer situations. On the first round, go big. Don't limp in because what could happen is you won't get the counter offer and you won't have a chance to show your real number if you don't go big at the start. And in the end, choose the price that you're willing to lose the property for and come in just a hair below that. Tip number five, make a love video. You've heard of love letters where you profess to the seller of why you guys love the property and why they should choose you. Instead, stand out, grab your cell phone on the couch with whoever you're buying the home with and profess in a video talking to the seller why you love the home, why they should choose you guys, how you intend to use it. These things are gonna sometimes persuade a seller, especially that they've lived in the property themselves for a long time. They wanna know who they're selling the home to. So instead of just doing a love letter, make a love video. Hey guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want some other real estate related content, do click to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.